everybody and welcome to the January 15th is it show of what's cooking in black so it's the 16th right okay so I'm one off but Oi. it was because of the way the moon was and everything you know that oh kind blame of stuff. the moon yeah, blame the moon the moon's All right, the moon the sun I'm Margo Beck I'm Lynn Morin and uh, we are glad to be back here we hope everyone had a wonderful holiday yeah um, from November through December, and as they say, hallelujah, it's over, <laughs> and we're getting back to normal. So, um, today, normal? You well, say normal. I know. Don't stop. Okay. <laughs> By the way, we have these nice aprons on, and Julie White Ronsky um, got the aprons. Her sister decorated them for us, and so thank you so much, Julie. We, we love you, Julie. Yes, Mwah. wonderful. And um, she's going to actually be coming on the show next month, making something special. For Valentine's Day. Yes. And yeah. we've actually got four shows lined up now. So we're going to be moving and grooving with this food thing. Oh, they're beating down the door to get on there. <laughs> it's awful. It's I have to go out through the back door because they're out there. <laughs> <laughs> so today, Lynn is going to be doing the cooking. And I'm going to assist her because I'm not touching that meat. But... Amago doesn't touch meat, chicken, turkey, anything. She, I'm surprised she's even looking at it because I know, it's she, not easy. She's having a hard time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna make a uh, healthy chicken palm. I saw this recipe uh, last week, and I said, "Oh, this this looks good." So I said, "That'd be a nice thing to make for the uh, show." So you start off with the uh, the cutlets, the chicken cutlets. I buy the Purdue, and they're like six ounces, six to eight ounces, and they're they're all. Uh, they're just perfect sizes. So what we're going to do is we're going to have, we have a cup of um, breadcrumb. Oh, is that with you? I thought it was that's, a cheese. It no, this is the cheese, Mom. Right. That's another thing she does. She doesn't eat cheese either. Oh, I'm telling you. People, it look like cheese. People, you have no idea. You want to mush it together? Yes, I okay. will gladly You can mush that. it together. Okay, let me get a spoon. Yeah. There's All so right. many things that she doesn't eat. It's very difficult. Oh. It's, not, it's not easy. It isn't easy. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Okay. Yeah. Doing a great job, Margo. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> so then you're going to take the chicken cutlets, right? And you're going to just, I know she's not going to touch them, so we can't have her touch it. So you, so you just dredge them in there. Get get it, get those uh, breadcrumbs and the uh, cheese, the Parmesan cheese, right, right into it, all over. Now tell them that sometimes they're too thick because she had to take one and cut it the lengthwise. Uh, yeah, because it's you too want, fat. Yeah, you don't want it too fat. Yeah, yeah. Because total time cooking is not very long. No, it's only really like 18 minutes, and then you take it out, and then you're going to sprinkle the mozzarella cheese on it. So that's that. You just get it right in there. You want to put some salt and pepper on there too? I that sure nice. do. And, and the spices. Margo made her oh, own, yes. her own uh, Italian spices. Because I couldn't find my Italian seasoning, so I just took oregano, basil, and parsley. That's good. See what happens. Yeah, so just you want to just on, throw, throw it, on. it on there. Just sprinkle it on. We'll flip it over Roll and sprinkle over. some more on. Because I love spices. I know some people don't like to put a lot of spices, but this is these are nice ones. This is Italian. That's good. Yeah? Yeah, that's good. Well, here. Oh, just, just, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Throw some more on there, yeah. Yeah, that way they will have enough it's okay. for all of it. Yeah, that's okay. Nick's going to eat. Nick and Chip are eating this tonight. Yeah. <laughs> I did do a dry run uh, last night, and Chip loved it. My husband will eat anything, but he really liked it. Okay, so you get it really good. You do that. Make sure it's really in there. Yeah. And what do you do with it now? You're going to put it in this pan. And what you need, what I thought this was going into the fry pan. No, no, no. The those are oh okay. The noodles. Then, oh, all right. Well, I've got that going. Oh, for it's nothing. only the eighth time I told her. You know. <laughs> oh, my fear of the chicken is oh, getting to God, me. Oh my God, she's getting crazy. She's getting crazy. <laughs> okay. But this is this calls for a parchment paper to put in there, so when you cook the chicken, it doesn't stick to it. And yeah. it really, it works out good. And it's the kind of parchment paper that on the back side of it, if you can see it, it's aluminum. Yeah. So that's the part that goes against the pan. Right. And then you put the paper side up against the um, meat. Yeah, I don't know if the regular parchment paper that you use for baking probably wouldn't be so good because the dampness would Oh, I don't know. They, call, they call for regular parchment paper, but oh. I found this. I found it at Park and Shop, you know, my home away from home. Yes. Oh, and by the way, I have to say, I have to say it. I uh -oh. can't. It's, the devil's going to make me say it. 
Uh oh. The I have health, no idea what's happening. She has no idea. The Board of Health, now we have, they have paper bags everywhere. They are the most, ugh, they're awful. It's awful to deal with. The people are all complaining. They're all yelling at the cashiers. It's, it's awful, Margo. I hear it. I don't hear anything. I don't know. Is she talking? The pa <laughs> Anyway, knock I Knock off some of that stuff. Is it going to be enough? Oh, yeah. That's going to be. We're going to sprinkle more on, you know. So this is going in the oven? That, that's going in the oven All right. at 400. Yes. Very high. 400. And actually, that's how it cooks. It cooks good. It, you could do this in a pan, though, right? You could saute it. Yeah, but see, that's not healthy. This is the healthy chicken oh, palm. Oh, excuse Hello, me. Hello. I started off with healthy chicken palm. Oi. Just because aye, her aye, grand dog goes to school every day oh, and has to be with yeah. the you know, kids the, and teach. There's such, you know, there's such crappy news. You know, everything's sad. Everything's bad. My daughter's uh, a principal at a school in Providence, and um, she brings her dog in every day for the kids. And it's made a mammoth difference with these kids. They just, you know, it's in the city, and a lot of them don't have pets. And they just really relate to the dog. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Anyway, uh, Channel uh, a Providence Station did a special on it. Yeah, it was nice. It was so cute, and the and and the dog is adorable. Bella, Bella, the dog, the fame. Now she's so famous, she doesn't even talk to me anymore. It's like yeah, that's know. what happens. Yeah. You know, they go on to fame and fortune and yeah. forget who you are. They do. That's what happens, right? But it was such a nice piece, and uh, they interviewed the kids. Yeah. And one little boy who was, he's kind of mischievous, right? And he says, oh, yeah. He goes, I, I go to the principal's office a lot. He says. Yeah, because they want to see the dog. <laughs> because, because I'm bad sometimes, and I don't do my homework. He says, but when I go there, he goes, and I see Bella, that's the dog's name. She makes, she heals me and makes me happy. Yeah. Oh, it was so cute. Yeah. It was really endearing. But it is a known fact about therapy dogs. How uh, well they ha even in even in the. Uh, Did I ever do the salt and pepper? Oh, I don't. I think know. I forgot. You got well salt and do pepper. Do I them. do these? Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna do them all here. How much salt do you put? Whatever you feel like. All right. So we don't want to have any, high blood pressure. We don't want to give anybody a uh, stroke or anything, you know. But salt speaking about pepper. the th therapy dogs, they're having something at the our library. Read yes. to, read to the dogs. Yeah. Are you going to go and read to the dogs? <laughs> oh. Well, everything they have at the library is wonderful. It so. is wonderful. But it builds confidence in the kids, they said. It builds confidence and it really helps them, you know. Okay, so this. Uh, okay, so make a little room okay, here. Okay, push that up or something. Yeah. No, push this one up, too. Okay. It's all squished. All right. I know you don't want to touch it. No, she I don't. I don't. I'm don't surprised she's even looking at it. I'm barely looking at it here. I'll take that. You can take that out. So this way. is going to go into. That's going to go in the oven, right? 400. Yep. For 18 minutes. And then you're going to take it out afterwards okay. and sprinkle it with. And just to uh, make sure everybody can see it. Yeah. If you want, you can put a little bit of olive oil. I put olive oil in everything. Sometimes I put a little bit, but if you don't want, you know, if you want to make it really healthy, yeah. you know. And supposedly it's not going to stick to this paper. No, it won't. Yeah, all right. No. Nope. She has spoken. <sighs> and then the next thing, while that's cooking, right, because you, usually when you have chicken palm, you usually have pasta with it. So instead of pasta, I know you love pasta. That's one mm, thing she I do love That's pasta. one thing she does eat. She loves pasta. Not with chicken in it, but I eat pasta. Pasta, I know. But this is even better. This is zucchini, making zucchini noodles. And I got this great little gadget that one Look of at my, this thing. my little dear friend, Colette Newman. I love her. She was on the show. Yes, she, she made was. pizza. Yeah. She got me this. It's a, let me get the, the name right. It's as seen on, on TV. TV. <laughs> a Vegetti. It's the coolest thing. And you can also have, like on your uh, KitchenAid, yeah. they have... Oh, I do have, yeah. You have extensions for this. Yeah. So, okay, so all you do with this thing, right? Very easy. You, yeah, I've never seen this operate. Yeah, you hold it here like this tight, and you just put the zucchini in, and you just turn it. You turn it that way so they can see. Okay. Isn't that interesting? And you come out nice noodles. How cool is that? How do you, um, do you cut them after or do well, you just, you just leave them long? Going. You can leave them long, whatever. You can cut them up, but 
It's like spaghetti. And she left this peel on. For color. And the peel, is, you have to wash it good, really good. They, there was a special on TV, too, about washing vegetables, especially avocados. I know you like them. Really? Oh, they said wash the living daylights out of them because something about the, the skin on them or something. But um, look at how cool this is, huh? It really is nice. Huh? It looks like Rapunzel. Yeah, that is good. <laughs> So instead of having the pasta, which is loaded with carbs, which, you know, if you're a runner and everything, that's great. But if you're, if you're watching your diet and you don't want to have carbs and you love pasta, look at this. Is that the cutest thing? Right? And you know what? This is better than those mandolins that they have because you can oh, rip your no. hand right off with no. those things, those blades. Look at that. And I just throw this extra stuff in there, too. Yeah. But Margo's going to... and. When you do this, this, you saute it for like two to three minutes because you want it al dente, like piece, people like pasta al dente, you know? Yeah. And you can cook, you can uh, throw in, I like Oh, what garlic. do I do with this stuff now? Well, I like, you can chop that up. That would be nice. Okay, so I've got two cloves of garlic. Yeah. And uh, we'll just cut it down here. And just get these things going. But if you don't like anything, you know, spicy or anything like that, you don't have to put any of that. I, no, you could use yellow squash. You can use right? carrots. Oh, yeah, carrots. Carrots. Um, I've done, like, uh, potato pancakes. You take the potatoes, you put it in there like this, and you can make potato pancakes. Oh, I know. But look at how, look at, I just love this thing. But be very careful when you wash it, because when you stick your hand in oh, there, gee. those things are there. So I have, you know, head accidents. Can you use like a toothbrush or something? Yeah, yeah. But look at that. It's so, and it, it looks like pasta and much more healthier for you. But it's so simple. You just hold on to it like that and just twirl away. And again, you can put any, any spices or herbs you want if you like. Do you want these to go mixed into that? You could just put it in the... Uh, oh, in the pan yeah. after? Yeah. Okay. And all you do is saute it. Like I said, not long. This Not, is a shallot. That's a shallot, yeah. yeah. You know, I never knew what it was. I thought shallots and what are those chive things? Yeah, oh. chive. I thought they were the same. No. What do I know, right? <laughs> yeah, but look at this, how nice this is. It looks just like pasta. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, this is just too exciting. Look at this, Margo. Isn't that nice? Looks like my hair in the morning. <laughs> it does kind of look like your hair. <laughs> Minus the green color. Yeah, minus the green color. <laughs> oh, gosh. But you can do carrots. You can do um, the yellow squash. I, don't, I guess you could do almost any. Uh, yeah. Anything could at all. Could you do like an um, eggplant? If you had one of those thin eggplants, those, what do they call them, Chinese eggplants or something? Chinese? Well, they're the long, thin <laughs> ones. I don't know. what they, I think they're Japanese or yeah, Chinese. I could, yeah, because all you're going to do is just saute it, you know, for a short time. You know, you, you know. Yeah. But I think this is the greatest thing. And like I said, I think as seen on TV, you can get it anywhere. But my good friend Colette Newman got me this, and I just love and it. And beware, because we have done a lot of the, or I have done a lot of the get the uh, as seen on TV things. And I will tell you something. We have had some doozies. Oh, yeah. She bought a thing. What was that thing you bought to for pancakes? For pancakes. Didn't was work. Terrible. At, didn't work at all. Not at all. <laughs> this one does though. This one works perfect. And there's a skinny one. This is this is like uh, fettuccine, you know, because it's flat like this. And there's a different. Uh, the other side is skinnier, like if you were to make angel hair or something. So there's two sides. Did you see that, Michael? There's two sides. That's skinny in there, and this is the thick one. Oh. This is yeah. Could you do the thin one with that? Or not good with vegetables, it would probably fall you, apart. Well, you can. That's what you oh, do really? if you want to like angel hair or something like that. But then you'd cook it less time. You'd just like, you know, like yeah. probably a, a minute. So now let me um, so you can just saute tell that people for, what I'm going to do now. I'm going to take minutes. these here, yeah. right, mm -hmm. and throw them in the pan. Yeah. All right, so there's your onions and yeah, your Yeah, and it doesn't take long. Doesn't take long. You could use just a regular onion if you didn't have. Yeah, you can use shallot. Like, yeah, you can use any any type of like an onion or even you know chives or whatever. Yeah. Anything that you want to spice it up with, like when you're making pasta. And this thing, so nice. This uh, cutting board is nice too. Oh, I know it. Peggy was the one who told us about I this. I know. I love that. I love. Our friend Peggy, between Peggy and Barbara, as far as 
<laughs> things go in the kitchen. If they've invented it, they've got it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, Monday, we went to uh, our friend Bob. We call her Magic. And uh, she made, what is it, tomato basil soup oh. in an Instapot. I have an Instapot. I'm petrified of it. I, I thought you got rid of it. No, I still have it. Oh. I got rid of the yellow fryer thing that's, oh, okay. that I had. <laughs> but the Instapot, she, Barbara loves it. And she made this delicious oh, tomato so good. basil soup. Yep. It, and it was a cold day Monday. And it, oh, it was perfect. And I will tell you the difference. I make um, tomato bisque. And the nice ingredient in it is you put a lot of basil in it, and yep. it really comes out yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Peggy makes a wonderful tomato soup too, which is not exactly tasting like mine, but she she does wonderful things with spices. Mm -hmm. And then Magic did something even more different. She put in balsamic vinegar. Vinegar. And, and what it, a difference! Oh my gosh, it was. It just, had, she had basil in it too, though. Yeah, but it was that balsamic, that yeah. element of just that. Just a little, yeah. Sweetened up something or other, and it wasn't like a sugar sweet. No. It was just a whole other. Um, it was delicious. It's really good. And she made. She oh, also yeah. made homemade bread. And it was like this big. Oh, oh yeah. So well, remember when she did the cinnamon buns? How big, big that thing oh, got. Those things, yeah. Her bread looked like it was popping out. She's of the an pan. excellent baker. See, she she likes working with yeast. I do yeah, not I'm not like a yeast working person. with yeast. It just I just doesn't do anything for me. I can't. I just I don't it, I don't do well with it. But her bread was. She had a big big bread. It was like this high, and she served it with the soup. It and was no. She she actually cut it. Didn't oh, she cut no, it? Oh no no. That pieces? was the other thing. Oh, what was that? And then what she served with it, she had the bread for the side, but then she made these tiny little grilled cheeses. She made like four grilled cheeses, and then she made- With regular bread? With regular bread, I think it was, yeah. I don't know, I and it was tiny it. little grilled cheeses, like this big, and it was so cute, she served it on the side. But she made She's it so big clever. first. She made big Grill, things, Grilled cheese, and, and then, then she, she cut it into little tiny pieces, so you could either throw it in your tomato soup. Yeah, like a crouton. Like but nothing is better than tomato soup and grilled cheese. Oh, it was I mean, so that's, good. That's everybody's go-to. Yes. Everybody's go-to. It was wonderful. And she's just, you could, could throw it in like croutons, or you could just eat them like by the handfuls like we did. Yes. Just shoved it in. And we were very happy to do that. But it was so good, and she was so such a good hostess. And we love you, Magic. Yes, we're we so do. good. <laughs> we'll be over next Monday for yeah. <laughs> something else. I don't know. It depends on what's for supper tonight. We might be there tonight. Yeah, yeah. We don't want to, you know, spread it too thin. One of the um, things that I wanted to tell them, too, is you made, you know, sometimes you make these recipes, and we've been getting a lot of different kinds of recipes in these books that they give at the supermarket. Yes. And normally they come out very good. Well, there's a couple of things that have happened that, number one, she did something bad. Right? I got burn marks on the side of my face yeah. to prove it. Yes. Tell them how you did that. I was making this soup. It was, uh, what was it? It was uh, leek cauliflower soup. Yeah. And it sounded so good and sounded so easy, and it was with chicken broth or vegetable broth, whatever you want to, no, it's really good, Heidi. Heidi's over there making faces. It was delicious. But anyway, um, you had to saute the vegetables a little bit in the cauliflower, but then afterwards you had to either use a, an immersion blender Immersion thing. blender or? Well, yeah, yeah, so I didn't have mine right at, at my fingertips, but I had my, my blender there, so I said, oh, I'll just throw it in there. Oh. Well, and. The, lick, the hot liquid was already in there, and I'm stirring it and brought it into a boil, and I put it in the blender, and I didn't secure the top of it. It mm. came up. I, I Honestly, I looked like The Exorcist. You know that movie with the green <laughs> stuff hanging off? Oh, it was in my hair, in my eyes. It she would, burned the side of her face. My face was burnt. My eye was burnt. All over my, my window, it was awful. And I <laughs> was like, oh, my God, yeah. this was terrible. And so you do have to be careful when you have to puree any of the soups or anything like that. Especially sure. if it's hot. Yeah. Yeah. The soup was good, though. Yeah, so you, you peeled it, was, it off your face. Yeah, yeah. It's still healing over here. I got tons of makeup on, right? <laughs> but, um, no, you do, you do have to be careful when you're transferring it to puree the soups. Yeah, you know? yeah. But that was, that was a good soup. And yeah. Margo made, Margo made uh, this week lentil soup. Lentil, but it came out like porridge. I have to add water to it. It's so thick. Yeah, but see, I, I always put more liquid than they ask for. I yeah. never follow, I follow the directions to just so, and then I do my own, my own thing. I always put, because I like, I don't yeah. like a real yeah, thick Yeah, you soup. like a lot of broth. Yeah. But lentils, 
and I don't know if a lot of people know this, lentils for the New Year's mean, if you, have, you serve it, it means good luck. Yeah, that's an Italian thing. And I think it's like more than an Italian thing. It's, you know, lentils are good, but they have after effects. Oh, poor lentils. <laughs> yeah. Poor people. Yeah. But, um, yeah, Mago made some. I don't know. I haven't yeah. tasted it yet. I'm yeah, afraid it's not, to. Yeah, it's, it's very thick. But, you know, my boss, Sandy, loves thick soups. He likes, like, the porridge stuff. He loves so any And he food. likes food. He likes food. <laughs> so, can you add water? You can always add water. What I made it with was mushroom broth. Yeah, you do use that. I use a lot of mushroom broth, and it really is a very earthy flavor. Yeah, yeah. It's and a it's nice. And Sam, then, remember the other thing you did bad, too? You made something with peanut butter over Christmas, and they just went... You made some kind it? of a... It was some kind of a little dessert thing, and it was peanut butter, and when you did it, it just kind of, like, blobbed out. Yeah, I it must was have not, forgot to do something. You think? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But that was that was a bad one too. Yeah. But hey, you know, some you win some, you lose some. Yes. You know, some are successful stories, some are not successful stories. That's right. But that's how you that's how you learn. That's how you become a halfway decent cook. You know, you try this, try that. Yes. I'll try anything once. Yeah. Unlike you. Yeah. I, my problem is I don't taste anything. I just I don't cannot know how you, taste. I don't know how you don't do that. When you, when you make your own sauce. I know. I don't ever taste it. Oh, I my just... God. Forever. A little bit of this, a little bit more Parmesan, a little yeah. more salt, a little more pepper. I mean, a little more basil chopped up. You don't? See, I don't, I don't touch I, it. And I know I should while I'm cooking it. I we've said, been well, telling you for the last it, 10 years. But I just don't do it. I don't know why. I don't know why it's either. A, it's an issue that I have with tasting stuff that's not cooked yet. I know a good therapist <laughs> that we, we might help you with this issue. <laughs> yes, well, well, that's uh, that's the way it goes. Um, but this is cooking up now. Yes, yeah, so and I think these... only two to three minutes, the most, right? And Ooh. and you can, it's just. Let me show them. It looks this. just like pasta, like green pasta. They do have green pasta, and look at how nice that is. And it sure smells good. Can you see it? Should I lift it up more or it's okay? It looks really good. Now you'll eat that. She'll I will eat that. definitely eat that. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just, uh, and actually, you know what? If you wanted to, you could have sauteed some mushrooms in here. You could do with anything. That. Yeah. That would be good too. Yep. And if you had some whole tomatoes. But you got to me, you got your marinara sauce that you're going to put. Yeah. On. Oh. That's what goes on after, right? That goes on afterwards, yeah. All right, and you can always get store bought. Um, yeah, if you don't want, if you don't uh, want to slave over the stove and make your own home, homemade marinara sauce. Yeah, which I do quite often, right? Yes, I know you do it often. Yeah. But um, the end result is right here, and it's it's quick. It's a quick, quick. Like that's just about. Well, it's got 37 seconds. It was 20 minutes I had it in for. Yeah. So let's. But take this a is look. how this this is how it comes out. And you're going to put sauce on this, right? And they have a nice, well-balanced meal. And it's like half the calories. Oh, where's, shouldn't you put tomato sauce on it? Yeah, where is it? <laughs> <laughs> well, here, let me show you. <laughs> well, anyway. I you thought you said you had some. <laughs> okay, this is the marinara the sauce. But this is the frozen <laughs> tomato sauce that we're going to put on this, by the way. So when you have company, you can get the chainsaw out, right? Dump and, it over on your table, and then you're, saw then you're it, good. And then put it on the thing. So this will go. You put it on the veggies too. You can too? put it all over. It's like you like when you have chicken palm. You put it over there, you know, on your what it, like you know, you put it on your pasta, and there it is. But it's like half probably half the calories because you know it's taken away the pasta the real pasta yeah with the vet with the uh, zucchini pasta and this isn't fried this is baked baked so it's like half the calories and yeah. it's and it's and it's still delicious how would you know when that's actually done the 18 meat thing? minutes 18 to 20 minutes yeah but is there any test like i know with meat you can i kind of like just put my fork into it and you know i just i don't know it's like a you just know? You just know. You wouldn't know. Okay. I, so I wouldn't don't know. cook it. Yeah, you wouldn't no, know, I, won't, so. I will not cook that. No, but Nick can have this for supper tonight. Oh, he'll be so he'll happy. He'll be happy because yeah. he never sees the, uh, a chicken ever. No. Never. Never, never. <laughs> not in this house. No. But it's tasty and it's it's good and it's healthy. So, you know, yeah. to start the New Year's off, you know, this is what we do. Yeah. Try to eat healthier. Yep. And it's a wonderful thing. And like I said, uh, next month, Julie's gonna come on and do something very special 
for Valentine's Day. Yeah, she's a pastry chef too. Yeah. And she used to she used to do that for a living, you know. Yeah, really? Made cakes. Oh, she's made me some beautiful cakes. Yeah, that's a talent. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, we'll ignore that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why that's ringing. Um, anyway. Okay, so anyhow, that's um, this show. We'll ignore the phone ringing, which I unplugged, but I guess it's ringing anyhow. <laughs> it has a life of its own. I have a monster phone. <laughs> and... Yeah. Um, to say hi to Rosa in New York. She's had a rough week with her friend, Murray. Hope Murray is doing better. And last week I had the two cats. Oh, yep. you green I had cats. My, my beautiful godchildren, Pompey and Belle. Mm. And Pompey is a little guy. He's a Maine Coon cat. And Belle is a beautiful black cat. And uh, I just love those cats. They're very nice. And I know, they're more like dogs. Yes, they are. Anyway, hello to them. Yes. And a smooch to, to Rosa. Yes. And so, everybody, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for putting up with us, not knowing what we're doing. Which is all, which is all the time. <laughs> and uh, we will see you in a few weeks. And we'll have uh, a nice surprise for you. Yes. Be careful if it snows, and be well, and take care. Thank you.